From my experience with training over 400 people online and answering YouTube comments and answering questions at the gym throughout the years, one thing that I've learned is people struggle with getting enough protein in, particularly women. So one thing that can help to fill that gap is to have protein shakes and protein bars. And one of the main issues with protein bars is most of them taste like garbage. It doesn't matter what the macros are like on a protein bar or you know how many grams of protein it has, how low calorie it is, all that good stuff. If it tastes like garbage and you're not going to eat it, then it doesn't really matter. And that's where this video comes into play. Muscle Farms Combat Crunch is my second favorite in terms of flavor and my top pick overall. Chef Irving is my personal favorite in terms of taste, but when you take into account the whole picture, taste, the amount of calories, how much protein's in it, um, these have some fiber in it, so when you kind of look at the overall package, the Muscle Farm Combat Crunch Bars are my favorite. And we're going to do a little bit of a taste test in this video. So we have all six of the flavors that I could get my hands on. There is white chocolate raspberry as well, which I was not able to find in stock anywhere. Um, but I have had <laughs> plenty of boxes of that flavor and I have some pretty strong opinions on that one as well. So I will include that in this flavor ranking. But before we get into the flavor ranking, hi, my name is Ryan Treadway, founder of TreadwayTraining.com, where we turn skinny guys into jacked men. If you want more information on body transforming training and nutrition topics every Sunday, consider subscribing. So let's begin. We have all of the bars open now, and when it comes to the taste test, we're gonna take a look at three categories to rank these on. The first is going to be taste, obviously. We want it to taste good. Two, we're gonna take a look at texture because a lot of protein bars can kind of have like a, a grainy texture to them, and it's pretty, ugh. you know, even if it tastes pretty good, if it has that nasty texture, it kind of takes away from that taste. And then also, how chewy is it? One of the problems that you'll run into, particularly if you look at like Quest bars or something like that, or a lot of other protein bars out there, they're really chewy. Like it's just like you just chew it over and over and over, and it's like it never ends. Those are the three categories we're gonna take a look at. Let's jump right in. First up is gonna be chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay. It was pretty good so far. Pleasant taste, not too grainy. Each of the Combat Crunch flavors have these little crunchy parts in the top of the bar. And with this one, this one, the, the crunchy pieces, maybe I'm just imagining this and I'll <laughs> retract this statement once I get into these other ones. But the crunchy pieces on this one are a little bit crispier. They kind of have the same texture as like a like a crunch bar. So next we're gonna look at cookies and cream. That one is actually crispier. These two are pretty close. As you can tell, they like the cookie flavors. We have chocolate chip, cookie dough, cookies and cream, and double stuffed cookie dough. These two are neck and neck so far in terms of taste. This one is a little bit softer, which is nice. I like the texture a little bit better on this one, but I really like the crispy pieces a little bit better on this one. So these are, it could go either way. These are, these are probably tied. Next up, double stuffed cookie dough. This is one that I have had in the past, but it's been a long time. So let's try this one. So far in terms of taste, double stuffed cookie dough is first. These two would be pretty neck and neck for second. This one, the crispy pieces are a little bit crispier, kind of like that one. And it also was a little bit firmer, kind of like that one. This one wins so far in terms of texture or, or kind of that softness. Um, you don't have to bite into it quite as hard. This one wins in taste. Let's keep going. Next up, chocolate peanut butter cup. I thought it was gonna be easier to rank these, but so far <laughs> they're all very, very tasty. These three, 
are tied for second. These, these all three are neck and neck. This one's the winner so far. Next up is Peanut Butter Lovers. So far, Peanut Butter Lovers is last place, which makes me a little bit sad because I do love peanut butter and peanut butter flavored things. It's not bad by any means. It's still very tasty and I'm still gonna eat every one of the bars in this box. It's just a little bit stiffer. It's the stiffest one out of all of them so far. And it has a little bit, not bad, but a little bit of a grainy texture. The taste is on par with the other ones. So in terms of taste, I would say it's ever so slightly behind these three. This one's still in the lead, um, but the texture and the stiffness to it puts this one just a little bit behind. And then the last one, which is one that I've already had as well, is the Cinnamon Twist. And the Cinnamon Twist, as I already knew it would be because I've had it in the past, is by far the best flavor out of all six of these. And the only one that would give the Cinnamon Twist a run for its money is the White Chocolate Raspberry, which again, I could not find in stock anywhere for this video. But I would say this one by far for taste is number one. It's a little bit stiffer than some of the others, not quite as stiff as the Peanut Butter Lovers, um, but similar to these three. So the chocolate chip cookie dough, the cookies and cream, and the uh, chocolate peanut butter cup. So these four are all pretty much the same in terms of stiffness. This one does not have quite as crispy, crunchy pieces on the top. Um, this one still wins in terms of that. So this one kind of ties all of these three in terms of texture and stiffness and the crispy pieces that are on top. But overall, Cinnamon Twist definitely takes the number one spot, I can already tell you. And I'm going to say the White Chocolate Raspberry, close second, even though we weren't able to taste it in this video. Like I said, I've had several boxes of it in the past. And then the third place finisher is definitely going to be the Double Stuffed Cookie Dough. That one is also amazing. And then that's where it gets hard because these are all really good. This one's gonna be last, I can tell you. Um, out of all of the seven flavors, this one's last. There's your seventh place finisher. And where it gets hard is who's gonna take the fourth, fifth, and sixth place spot. I'm gonna have to take another bite of each of these to try to see if I can break that tie. All right, so I've settled it. This one is going to be fourth place, the chocolate peanut butter cup. The fifth place is going to be chocolate chip cookie dough. And then the sixth place is going to be cookies and cream, which made me again a little bit sad for this one as well, because this cookies and cream one, in terms of texture, it was the best, absolutely. It was so soft, you could just bite into it so easily. and it had the least amount of graininess out of all of them, which none of them had a lot of graininess. The, the peanut butter lovers had the most, but it's hard to even say anything bad about these because they're all so good. This one definitely had the best texture, but lacked a little bit in terms of taste versus the other ones. So there's our final order. We have Cinnamon Twist, number one spot, White Chocolate Raspberry, which isn't shown in the number two spot, Double Stuff Cookie Dough, in the three spot, chocolate peanut butter cup in the four spot, chocolate chip cookie dough in the five spot, cookies and cream in the six spot, and then last, the peanut butter lover. And all these are really tasty. Even the seventh place finisher, the peanut butter lover, they're still really good. So you're not gonna go wrong with any of these flavors. As I had already said, I feel like the Muscle Farm Combat Crunch bars are the second best tasting protein bars behind the Chef Irving bars. And then when you look at the whole package in terms of the calories, most of these are 230 calories um, with the exception of the Peanut Butter Lover and the Double Stuffed Cookie Dough. Those are both 210 calories. 
so not quite as bad. They're lower calorie than the Chef Irving bars. And another little bonus that you don't get with most protein bars is these also have some fiber in them as well. So all of these have either five grams or seven grams of fiber in them as well. And that's another thing that I've noticed after training so many people is that fiber is another thing that a lot of people struggle with. So getting some fiber from a protein bar is a pretty good little deal there. It's obviously not going to replace having fibrous vegetables or anything like that, but if you do struggle to get in enough fiber, it is a nice little bump to that fiber intake as well. And now it's time for me to eat this cinnamon twist bar and put the rest up for later. If you've tried these bars in the past, let me know what your favorite flavor is down in the comments, or if you have a different brand entirely that you love and would like to recommend put that down in the comments as well. If you wanna check out my flavor ranking for the Transparent Labs Whey Protein, you can check that out here, or you can check out the product review playlist here. As always, God bless you and your family, and we'll see you next week. Struggle.